I've been doing this a long time. I, I know I don't look that old, I know. <laughs> I'm a little under 103. <laughs> but all kidding aside, a lot of you are tired. You're tired. No, I, I, I get it. Try being 110 and doing it again. <laughs> all kidding aside, a lot of people are frustrated. Now, as you, some of you know, I'd usually come down and say hi to all of you. They'd tell me there's a storm coming in. Is that right? Is, still, is that still the deal? That's the truth. Now, don't make a lie. As that, as that scene in the John Wayne movie, don't make me a dog-faced lion pony soldier. All right? God save the queen, man. All right, here to react, Fox News contributor Tammy Bruce. Tammy, good to see you. Uh, you know, in those clips, he's, it's almost as though there's a level of self-awareness when he makes fun of his own age. But if we watch the longer speech, the, the, the larger takeaway, I think, is he's not with it. He's not in on the joke. What is he talking about with God Save the Queen? Does he even know what he is saying? I think that there's a belief after 2020 that people will put up with it somehow, but they will begin to hide him more. There's and usually, and before, they would put him out and they would take a long time between uh, him being in front of the public and he would seem to be together a little bit, but that seems to be changing. There's, there seems to be no point where he is really sharp. And of course, that's sad. Uh, too many American families see that in their own families. We understand what that is, my, my family included. And so it's heartbreaking. And the fact of the matter is, though, it's beyond just, you know, you're afraid for a member of your family. National security, the lives of everyone in the military, our futures, whether or not our own children and our families are going to have a future where they can do more than live paycheck to paycheck, crime, violence, the destruction of people's lives who normally would not end up in jail because there's no hope, drug abuse, overdoses. This is not a joke, mm. right? It's, it's not something that you just do because it's fun or because you like running the country. It's as though we literally, it used to be the forgotten man and woman was, was a section of Americans. We are all now forgotten. We are all now abandoned. And every American sees that in their towns, they see it on the news, and they see it in their own families with drug addiction, suicide ideation, unemployment, Alzheimer's, uh, other medical care issues that are not being met because of the chaos that this administration and the Democrats are sowing throughout the country. Yeah, you know, I think you're right that people, many people begin to see it through the sympathy lens of someone in their course, own family, but the course. sympathy should be extended to those that if you took that member of your family and said, you're in charge of driving the car. Right. That's no that's longer it. is the sympathy Correct. for the driver. It's for everyone else that's a passenger in that car, much less running Correct. the country. Correct. I want to ask you about this. Thousands uh, protest the anti-Catholic group Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence in Los Angeles at the Dodger game last night as they took in this group, did the Los Angeles Dodgers, and honored them. Uh, what is your takeaway? Well, you know, it was empty. The stadium was empty. Um, I love baseball. I'm originally from Los Angeles, uh, and I'm trying to learn to love the Yankees. It's not quite happening yet. But it, for, for, as a gay woman, I mention that when it's relevant because I think the perspective matters. That as I think the gay community in particular, we're looking at this. It's like for Pride Night, what does that have to do with, with gays? The mocking of the Catholic Church. Be, and this is why you've got families getting worried if their kid comes up and says, Mom, I think I'm gay. It does not mean they have to become left wing. It does not mean they're going to become anti religion. It does not mean that they're going to become hostile to everything you believe in. The gay community is diverse and expansive. And we've created over the last several decades the ability to have society embrace us and that we are your family members. We are, we're, we're people you know on TV and in your house and at work, and that's great. And then we see this. It's almost as though over the last few years, that if it was people who wanted to damage the, the perception of the gay community, this is what you would do. And it, it's shocking to me. And I think this is where Americans, there's a new Gallup poll that came out recently, that for the first time in, well, a while, the, the support for uh, gays and gay relationships went from 71% down to 64% in the last year. What have we been seeing in the last year? You know, extremist activists uh, saying that they're trans activists, but it's just, of course, about division. You're seeing perceptions and presentations of people saying this is about pride, when in fact it's something else. It's about uh, activism, left-wing activism 
that no one wants or accepts. And it's not about bigotry. It's about the nature of who we are as a people and what's acceptable. And that's what the gay community has been fighting for, is we are everyone. That is not representative you of You and I were talking are. about that poll before you came on the air. Yeah. It's, it's fascinating. For the first time in decades, I think it's been over a decade, support for gay marriage, I believe it is, went down. And I think you're exactly right. That's part and parcel of the group. Have, the, the entire thing being lumped together. Trans That's issues, correct. minors and trans, and uh, as you said, it's opposition awful. to religion. What we saw last yeah. night damages the movement of gay Americans. It does. It does. All right, Tammy, it's always great to talk to you. Thank, Thank you, you sir. so much. Thank you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.